What's up, everybody? Derek Anderson, the DA. All right, check this out. Are you guys aware of what today is? <laughs> Are you aware of what today is? It's not just Monday, all right? And it's not just um, October 16 of 2023. That's not it either, all right? Today is the 100th anniversary of the Walt Disney Company, all right? The 100-year anniversary of Walt Disney Company, all right? They opened up shop back in October 16 of 1923. All right, so how does the Daily Wire choose to celebrate that? How do they choose to do so? They announce that they are making a live action Snow White movie starring conservative YouTuber Brett Cooper. And then, of course, there is a teaser. Now, this by the Daily Wire, I got to say, man, this is just world class right here, man. <laughs> this is awesome. This is amazing stuff. Because, look, we all know what's going on with Snow White, all right? First of all, we know that that was Walt Disney's baby, all right? His very first feature film, okay? The one that kind of kicked off the company, not kicked it off in, in earnest, but just kind of launched it into the stratosphere, all right? Made Disney a major, super major player in Hollywood, all right? That was Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. First of its kind, full-length animated movie, all right? Nobody had ever seen anything like that. It was incredible. That. Not only do we know that, okay, but we also know that they are remaking that, doing the live action remake with your girl, uh, Rachel Zegler, okay? It's going to be super woke, all right? It's race swapped all over the place. We don't have dwarves. We have seven magical creatures, all right? She's not going to be saved by the prince because the prince is a stalker, apparently. We know all of that stuff. We've been talking about Rachel Zegler to death, okay? But not only that, now we got the Daily Wire doing the counter to that. And what are they doing? Oh, we're just making Snow White. We're not adding no politics to it, at least as far as we can tell. I don't see any politics in the trailer or this little teaser that they added, all right? It was just music. Uh, it was, you know, some scenery. And it was uh, Brett Cooper. That was it. That was it. That's all they gave us, okay? So you can't say, well, they're kind of leaning into the politics and doing this and that. But come on, y'all. Uh, the Daily Wire, they knew exactly what they were doing. And of course, the fallout is exactly what you would expect. On The Hollywood Reporter, Daily Wire is making a rival Snow White movie trolling Disney. What? Where's the troll here? I don't see any troll. Uh, the conservative media company released a teaser trailer for Snow White and the Evil Queen starring YouTuber Brett Cooper following backlash over Disney's upcoming Snow White starring Rachel Zegler. I mean, they just released a trailer. There's nothing wrong with the combat. Why does it got to be trolling Disney? Huh? Maybe, uh, let's see what they had to say about it. And here's what Jeremy Boring had to say about it, right? It's a story about a princess and a prince, about beauty and vanity, about love and its power to raise us from death to life. It's our own adaptation of an ancient fairy tale. Uh, Boring made the announcement when launching Bent Key, uh, Daily Wire's new kids entertainment brand that seeks to take on Disney Plus at a time when some conservatives have grown frustrated with the legacy studio. Oh yeah, a lot of people are tired of Disney, all right? Not just the conservatives. They always want to put it on just the, oh, it's just the conservatives that are, man, there's plenty of people on either side. It doesn't matter who you're talking to, all right? Plenty of people on either side that are like, we're tired of this woke crap. All right. Just tell us stories. Leave the social politics and the social agendas. All right. And all of that crap. Leave it out. OK, we're not here for that. We just want to be entertained. But Disney has dropped the ball time and time again and leaves the door open for the Daily Wire to come in and fill that gap. Nothing wrong with that, in my opinion. It's taken 100 years to build Disney Boring at it right to the day. All right. He announces this right on the day, man. You, that's no accident whatsoever. All right. Uh, we know we aren't what Disney is today, but we hope in time we might become what they were. Once upon a time, a little studio with big ideas and the courage to chase them. While Disney still uses Walt's name, they have all but abandoned his legacy. And that's his statement right there. Okay, again, I don't see anything wrong with what he said. I think a lot of people feel the exact same way. Disney has become the company of soulless cash grabs. You know, they take all of their old animated content and they just remake it, all right? Updated it for modern audiences and all of that crap, all right? I don't see anything wrong with what the man said, all right? And here's what Brett Cooper had to say. Uh, I was raised on the original Grimm's fairy tales, so I'm thrilled that we're bringing this iconic story to life for the next generation, Cooper said. Snow White is such a beautiful character, and I'm honored to be playing her. Like all the best fairy tales, this is a story with timeless values like love, friendship and kindness and i can't wait to share them i see nothing absolutely wrong with this statement all right 
It's a big far cry from weird, weird and all that crap, right? All right, you don't want to hear that when they're talking about a classic, a timeless classic like Snow White, all right? They're just going to tell the story as it was. They're going to update it, not, not, you know, for modern audiences with modern graphics and, you know, modern acting and modern, you know, set designs and things like that. They're going to make it modern in that sense. We're not going to stuff it with like today's political and social climate. That's not what you do with this stuff, Disney. And see, now, again, they're just leaving the door open. And I love it. I absolutely love it. And then here's the uh, deadline Hollywood post on X. <laughs> yeah, let's go ahead and check out some of the quote tweets. Here's one person will not be watching. All right, don't watch. Yeah, nothing wrong with that. Uh, this person, Snow White isn't a bigot. She's kind and accepting of all. You see how the fangs come out? All right. The tolerant left. You see how the fangs just come sharp. Just, ding, just fangs coming out. Ready to bite. Man, I actually like this idea. Let them make their own movies instead of weeping every two days about the woke agenda in Hollywood. Right, give me my wokeness and leave me alone, okay? Yeah, I agree, man. Let us make our own stuff and let Hollywood burn to the ground. I actually like the idea, just like you, Ben. Yeah, let the wokeness completely destroy Hollywood. We're good with that. Uh, you can't put on a Rachel Zegler dress and be Rachel Zegler. Nobody wants to be Rachel Zegler, okay? I'm pretty sure, man. Look at this stuff. Their big Snow White teaser exclusively centers on the character picking supermarket apples in a forest. Well, I, I, again, look at that, man. There's little nitpicks and all of that crap. And this guy says, you know, Daily Wire is only doing this out of spite for the Rachel Zegler led Snow White movie Disney is doing. Yeah, maybe, you know, that's probably right. Yeah, they saw a opening like again. So people see an opening right now in the marketplace of just, hey, we just need to tell stories. All right. Disney is out here preaching and proselytizing, you know, trying to get converts to the woke agenda. They're pushing all of this crap in their content for children. And some people are like, you know what, instead of our kids watching this Disney crap, let's give them something else to watch, you know? So the Daily Wire, they see an opportunity, they see the void, they see the opening, and they're striking. They're going right into that opening and saying, cool, we'll go ahead and fill that void. I see nothing wrong with that. The marketplace is ripe right now for the kind of content that's coming from people that are not woke. You don't even have to be Disney. You don't even have to be in Hollywood. If you find a, you know, hey man, we got a we got an opportunity right now to strike into this open void where, hey, people just want good content. And if Disney's not gonna do it or if some other Hollywood uh, studios aren't gonna do it, then damn it, let's go. You know, that's all that I see that this is, you know? Yeah, so yeah, they're taking the opportunity and they're running with it, nothing wrong with that. She looks too much like Ben Shapiro, so still counts as race swapped. Again, you see the fangs is coming out, all right? You see the fangs is coming out, man. These cats claim to be tolerant. They ain't tolerant at all, man. Here's this guy. Oh, for the love of God. The Daily Wire is only doing this because they're mad a non-white actress is playing Snow White. Snow White doesn't need to be white. She just needs to be beautiful, and Rachel Zegler is definitely beautiful. No, she needs to be white, okay? That's the way the character is originally written. It's a German fairy tale from the Brothers Grimm. If Disney wants to have Latina actresses, I have no problem with that. Put them in, in movies, all right? Suit it to the roles that they're supposed to play. Don't do any race swaps because it's insulting, all right? I talk to, a, I, I talk to people all the time about this, and I pose this question. Do you want them to race swap characters, white characters, okay, into your race? Whether it be black, Latina, or Latino, Asian, it doesn't matter. I ask people this question. Or would you rather Disney just come up with new stories for brand new characters and then pump the same amount of time, attention, money, and everything into those characters? Would you rather, which one would you want? They say, well, I want an original character that actually, you know, represents my, you know, native, you know, area. You know, that represents me. You know, if they're going to do that, you know, give me an original character, okay? Not some race swap. That's sad and that's insulting. Yeah, everybody says that, except these yo-yos here on the left. They don't understand that stuff. God, I sure hope those hardcore Snow White fans who are so concerned with the integrity of the character come and take issue with this remake too. But see, the thing about it is, this isn't really a remake. You know, well, I guess it is a remake of the classic grim fairy tale, but this isn't going to have like the Disney Seven Dwarves and the songs and all that kind of stuff. Like that's completely different. All right. They're just retelling the original grim fairy tale. Nothing wrong with that. This guy, the MAGA Snow White movie will have the lead actress 23andMe results in the credits to make sure the audience knows she's fully European white. 
<laughs> These guys are so mad. Why are they so mad? Why are they so angry? Oh, they're so butthurt over this thing. Oh, it's just truly hilarious, man. I love it, man. I love it, man. Just Daily Wire, just keep on doing it, man. You guys are doing great. This guy says, it's not sad that conservative media has nothing truly unique to offer and has to settle for reacting to whatever the left is doing. Imagine if they used their money to fund something genuinely unique and not just some petty jab at Disney. Well, I don't think it's all been petty jabs at Disney, right? I think they've actually done some, you know, truly genuinely unique, you know, programming over at the Daily Wire. They just launched like an entire uh kids channel right the bent key thing it's an entire kids channel they said there's going to be like a hundred shows on there i'm sure all of them are not disney ripoffs so yeah i don't know if this guy knows what he's talking about but yeah i mean they in my opinion i don't think snow white should be off the table just because disney did it all right other companies have remade things or you know have done their take on things i see nothing wrong with that you know if it's open public domain have at it you know have at it. Do your take. Let's see what you got to say. You know, I do want unique stories. Don't get it twisted. You know, I prefer original to, you know, something that's already been told before. But at the same time, I don't think that stuff has to be 100% off the table. If they have a take that they want to give and they want to make it, no problem with me. Ick. Let me guess. Is the evil queen going to be a symbol of everything they hate? Is the apple going to be poisoned with wokeness? <laughs> I'm not going to watch the teaser. I mean, again, this is the stuff I'm talking about. They think everybody is like them, all right? So they're going to slam all of their politics into their stuff. You know, they slam all of their politics into all of their content. Everything that they do, whether it's a television show, whether it's a movie, whether it's a book, a story, a novel, doesn't matter. They slam all of their politics in it. So they obviously think that their competition is doing the exact same thing. And look, all you got to do is just tell Snow White. Nope, it's just a poison apple. That's it. Doesn't have to be poisoned with wokeness. All right. But again, that's the way their brains think, right? Their little pea, pea brains, they think that everybody's doing what they do. And that's not the case at all. Uh, check it out. Lady Gravemaster. Uh, I saw her more as Aurora than Snow White, but I'm willing to bet this version sticks to the source material. A thousand percent, man. It's going to stick to the source material because guess what? Guess what? These guys at the Daily Wire, they understand, listen, man, we don't have to make anything with a political edge to it. All we got to do is just make content. All right. We just make content. We don't have to put any political spin to it. Stick to the source material. Just like Lady Gravemaster said, just, just stick to the source material. You'll be fine. OK, the story has already stood the test of time. There's no reason to put some sort of a political spin on it. Like what Disney keeps doing with all of their remakes and everything that's going on over there at Disney. They just keep putting political spins on everything. People are tired of it. They just want entertainment. And okay, here we go. Daily Wire sees the opening and they're diving right in. All right. And I'm happy. Okay. This is exactly what needs to happen. And it needs to continue to happen until people finally wake up and say, you know what? We're not making the money we used to make. And meanwhile, we're opening the door for all of these other folks to come in here and steal some of our market share. Why don't we go back to what we were doing? But see, me personally, I hope Disney, especially Disney, I hope they are just divested of all of their assets. They can go right back to just being a cartoon uh, and theme park place. All right. Just make animated films and theme parks. Let everything else go so I can get Star Wars back. OK, so we can all get our stuff back. The Disney's been holding hostage over there. Some of the Marvel fans probably feel the exact same way. And then we can just go back to the way things were. I mean, that's what I want. I don't know what you guys think. But yeah, Daily Wire coming in. <laughs> coming in hot, man, on the Disney 100-year anniversary. Man, this is hilarious. But you guys let me know what you think. Jump down in the comments. Give me your thoughts and opinions on that. And thanks for watching. See you next time.